You see Max Kellerman's out at first take? Is that real or not? What happened? Did something happen? Or they, they acted like it was to have him do other projects? I don't know. Yeah. They say, hey, he'll be on ESPN radio more. He'll be doing a little bit more of this. He's got his own boxing show. I think it's called Max on Boxing or something like that. But first take mm-hmm. with Stephen A., the highest paid guy at ESPN. That's that's the show, right? Is it, are they just moving them out? They said they're going to put a couple different people in there. Are they trying trying out a bunch of people or are they maybe making a big signing to battle against Stephen a every oh, day molly's ooh. allegedly sticking around what's going on at first take aj are you are you potentially going in there you ooh, love the aj baby. Oh, i mean if they're if their producers or whoever's making decisions over there know anything about me they know that that is kind of my wheelhouse like i want to debate and i want to debate every topic too because i feel very passionately about most everything that is spoken about on tv <laughs> Uh, Ty, where the fuck has Zubin been? Um, Thank so you. Yeah, we, we've we been asking for quite some time. Mm-hmm. I think Zubin was dealing with some difficulties related to diabetes. Um, they've kind of just strung him along, though. His name's still on the show. He's not really on it anymore. But that is what was interesting with Kellerman, too, is I'm pretty sure the initial like revamped ESPN radio lineup, he had his own show. And I think they shit can that as well. I don't know if it was recently or if it happened a while ago, but they're saying he is going to slide into Zubin's role potentially mm-hmm. on Keyshawn and uh, Jay Williams in the morning. Okay, so that's why... I obviously asked that. I knew that that was the plan, Yep. of course. Right. That's why I asked that. I'm really piecing it together. I did all my research. So then who do they put in there with Stephen A? Are they going to pay Skip that $8.5 million they I, plan on doing it before said, he went to it, Fox? It's, 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 it's Sacho's time. They Come said on. it was a rotating Sacho. cast. They said it's a very short walk from get up over to first take. Yep. So whoever's basically on get up, we know, as Gumby just said, it's it's time for Sacho. Dan O'Reilly. That's, that's what I was about to say. I've never been invited over the first take set, although I have been at the get up set numerous times. It is a rather short walk. I've never been able to open those doors and see where the magic of first take is. But Dan Orlovsky seems to be the battling counterpart to basically anything, right? At this point, yeah, is yeah. that not, is this Orlovsky's job? Is Orlovsky now. Is it his job to lose? What other person is going to get up, get in there and get actually pissed about their feelings against Stephen A? It has to be somebody like Dan Orlovsky, right, AJ? Yeah. I, I think Dan sounds perfect for that gig. Yeah, I, I would assume they're going to rotate some people through early to see who does best or who's most comfortable. But do you think Max wanted to leave the show? Like, does he have any say in this? I don't know if why Max would want to leave this. Show. Yeah, I, I, no I, I'm way. not speaking. Me and Max have never met. I've never chatted with Max. You know, Max, I watch Max on the television do his thing or whatever, and he has some interesting thoughts, if those are his genuine thoughts, obviously. But I'd imagine you're not trying to get out of first take with Stephen A. at ESPN. I don't know, unless you're trying to just get in Stephen A.'s world on ESPN Plus full-time. I I am not 100%. Maybe this is a build for ESPN Plus, though. Maybe they're giving Max more work because of how good he has done on first take. Maybe he is seeing this as a compliment, as a up the workload a little bit. I don't know know? if that's a good idea because no one watches any of that shit on ESPN Plus, (laughs) uh, their original programming. Outside of Peyton's places, no one's watching any of those fucking shows. Period. You know, sorry, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but no one's fucking watching them. You remember when they pitched me? Listen to this, AJ. They wanted me to do a show that I would record from midnight to 2 a.m. every day. All right? I would get highlights. Wait, you would record it? Wait, it wasn't live that time? Why would you record it at midnight? Well, because it was after every all the games were played. So after all the games were played for the day, I record a wrap-up show. Only seen on ESPN+, Plus, but I get highlights. We'll give you 60, 60 bucks a day or whatever you do this, <laughs> yep. and it'll be great. You'll be you'll have the time of your life, you know. Yeah, ESPN Plus, obviously, with the bundle with Disney, Don Batiste is telling us about. It'll be massive. It'll be a catapult for your career, I was told. I was like, all right, well, you can fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that. But, but they I'm really they, that. they don't promote any of that shit on there. If you go to ESPN Plus, if you go to the app, the only thing that people are using that is, like, if games are blacked out in your area – or if there's a game on ESPN Plus that's not available anywhere, like you have to fucking dive UFC through. UFC is the biggest thing. Yeah, Don't you think UFC is probably the biggest thing on ESPN Plus for sure. That article did say that they might kind of turn first take into Stephen A's world, probably because nobody's watching Stephen A's world on ESPN Plus. Yeah, Stephen A's world might be good. Nobody's seen it. What the, is that? The Peyton's what is that? places though is what's that? Go ahead, AJ. What exactly is Stephen A's world? 
I, he just does a bunch of shit. He just does a bunch of different things. It's basically he does a variety sports variety show. That's where the Stephen A's list came from. And yeah. Obviously, there's some baby Stephen A and some other takes that he has. I think he does some interviews on there. It's basically just like a Stephen A show almost as opposed to just a debate show. If if they feel as if all that is good and it's not being seen by anybody because nobody's really going to ESPN Plus for their day to day, only going for events or blacked out games, like Peyton's places, let's get that shit on ESPN as well then because for sure. that thing is unbelievably well done. Yeah, it's so good. it's incredible. Yeah. But I wonder, do you think that that's gonna that that's probably gonna take a little bit of a backseat if they're doing this new Monday Night Football thing, right? Like, I don't know if they're in talks to have another season of Peyton's Places yet. I mean, I'm sure ESPN would do whatever to make sure that happens, but if he's committed to this Monday Night Football thing, I don't know. You know, I think that kind of goes on the back burner. All right, honest question here, and this is gonna go to Connor. Okay. Connor, you love the NBA. Obviously, we're all big Kobe Bryant Mamba mentality fans here. Did you ever watch the detail on ESPN Plus by him? Have you gone in there and watched? That seems like something that I have never even thought about watching. But if it, maybe it's because it was on ESPN Plus. That's why I'm never in there. Yeah, I mean, I love basketball. I'm a little jaded towards ESPN, but I have gone in once to watch detail. It is pretty good. It was the Jason Tatum episode, so that's really the only reason I went in there. Uh, and it's good, but I mean. Nobody wants to – nobody's, you know, going onto their TV like, oh, ESPN Plus. What, what came out today from ESPN Plus? I think that's the biggest problem that is happening with Stephen A, A's world, and that's why they're doing Stephen A versus the world as the first take thing. I think that was the name of the show idea they were thinking of in that 10 o'clock slot. Oh, so a bunch of random pissed off people are coming yeah. in to debate Stephen A on different th uh, different topics. Hey, if it's a sports uh, football thing, we'll bring in football students to debate. If it's basketball, we'll bring basketball students yes. to debate. If it's uh, vaccinations, we'll bring a politician in to debate. Is that mm -hmm. what Stephen A is going to be doing? He's just going to be debating everybody out there? Yeah, I don't know if they'll bring in a politician. They'll probably just bring in Stink. But they also, I think for <laughs> basketball, we're going to bring in uh, Perk. I think Perkins, this is going to be a big – Kendrick Perkins push probably lead into a carry on show if I had to guess. Hey, carry the hell on. I hope they do great. I can't wait to see who Stephen A is burying. Max Kellerman has done a great job doing that for the past couple of years. Now joining us is a man who maybe could uh, hop in there and get buried. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he would be up for the gig or not. Knows more about all the things we like to know about than everybody else on earth. Senior NFL insider for the NFL uh, at NFL Network and NFL.com. And the host of the show that is currently on hiatus because we think it's been canceled. Oh. Rap Sheet and Friends. For his weekly Rap Sheet wrap-up, ladies and gentlemen, Ian Rappaport. Yeah! What's going on, man? You got any inside information on who's going to be debating Stephen A over there at ESPN? Uh, I do not. Um, the only uh, inside information I had at ESPN was when Robert Griffin III was going there, which mm. I was very happy to put out on Twitter because that was just a fun one. Plus, he's going to be really, really good. Um, but I don't have any good Stephen A. info. Um, Max Kellerman and I did go to the same school. Wow. Um, oh. So that's, oh. I mean, roommates. we're both people. That's basically <laughs> what we have in common. So. Well, I've been going to the same school, both being humans. That's a lot in common, more than I have with Max Kellerman. I mean, we're both humans, did not go to the same school, and, you know, not in the whole journalism world.